Have you ever gone in for a blood test and heard the doctor say, everything looks normal, there's nothing wrong, but your hair keeps falling out every morning, every shower, every time you brush. So many women over 40 are living in that exact situation. It's not hormones. It's not stress. It's something much quieter, much easier to miss. Hidden anemia, low iron or low ferritin that never shows up on a basic test. I'm Dr. William Carter, an internal medicine physician here in the United States, with more than 30 years of experience caring for women in midlife, especially those struggling with hair loss linked to metabolism, nutrition, and hormones. And let me tell you something that still surprises many patients. A woman can have perfectly normal hemoglobin and still lose hair severely, because her ferritin, her iron storage, is dangerously low underneath the surface. In today's video, I'll help you understand why hidden anemia is the real culprit behind your shedding, how to read your ferritin test correctly and restore hair from the inside out, and the common mistakes with iron supplements that can actually make hair loss worse. Let's dive in gently, because once you understand this, your approach to hair health will never be the same. A real patient story. One of my patients, Julia, 49 years old, a school teacher from Virginia, came to me with small thinning patches around the crown of her head. Before seeing me, she had tried everything, anti-shedding shampoos, biotin, collagen, nothing worked. When I reviewed her labs, here's what I found. Hemoglobin, 12.8 normal. Ferritin, only 15 ng. ML, even though the ideal range for healthy hair is 7100 ng. ML, I looked at her and said, Julia, your ferritin is simply too low. Your body is protecting your heart, your liver, your brain, and your hair is last in line. It's not getting what it needs to grow. So we made a plan. Increased natural iron-rich foods, lean beef, spinach, lentils, egg yolks. Added vitamin C to boost iron absorption. Cut back on tea, coffee, and dairy because they block iron uptake. Three months later, Julia came back. Her hair was noticeably fuller. Her ferritin went from 1558 ng, m, l. And she said, with tears in her eyes, Doctor, I'm no longer afraid to wash my hair. It feels alive again. Julia's story is far from rare. In the US, one inch three women over 40 has low ferritin, but only one inch 10 ever gets diagnosed. And that's exactly why we need to talk about this today, the science behind it. To understand why hidden anemia causes such severe hair loss in women over 40, you need to know three key biological factors. Hemoglobin, ferritin, and cellular oxygen. These three determine whether your hair follicles have enough fuel to grow or whether they slowly shut down. 1. Hemoglobin. The oxygen carrier that feeds every hair follicle. Hemoglobin is the protein in your red blood cells that transports oxygen from your lungs to the rest of your body. Every single hair on your head needs oxygen to create energy and maintain a healthy growth cycle. When hemoglobin drops even slightly, your cells receive less oxygen. Less oxygen, weaker follicles, brittle strands shedding in handfuls. But here's the important part. Many women with hidden anemia still have hemoglobin levels that look normal on paper. That means a standard lab test at your clinic may say everything is fine, while your follicles are quietly starving for oxygen and slipping out of the growth phase. That's why so many women tell me, my doctor said my blood work is normal, but my hair is falling out like crazy. Hidden anemia doesn't always show up on basic tests, and hair is often the first place to reveal the problem. 2. Ferritin. The iron storage that determines whether your hair can grow at all. Ferritin is the form of iron stored in your liver, muscles, and bone marrow. It's the raw material your body uses to build new hemoglobin every single day. When ferritin is low, your body goes into survival mode and prioritizes your vital organs, your heart, your brain, your liver, and your hair. Hair is not essential for survival, so it's the first to lose its iron supply. According to Mayo Clinic, ferritin under 40 ng, ML hair shedding is three times more likely. Ferritin, under 20 ng. 
ML hair follicles stop growing completely and enter a dormant state. Low ferritin is extremely common in women over 40, yet it's rarely tested, which means it's often missed. Many of my patients have told me, I took biotin, I took collagen, but nothing worked. Because without stored iron, hair simply cannot grow, no matter what supplement you take. 3. Oxygen and ATP energy. The life fuel for your hair follicles. To grow long, strong hair, your follicles need a huge amount of cellular energy, called ATP. Iron plays a critical role in producing ATP inside the mitochondria, your cell's energy factories. Low iron equals low ATP equals weakened follicles. When energy runs low, your follicles can't stay in the growth phase. They shift prematurely into the shedding phase, called telogen. That's why many women experience diffuse hair loss, thinning all over the scalp, not patchy bald spots. It's not autoimmune disease. It's simply that every follicle is running out of energy at the same time. Common causes of hidden anemia in women over 40 knows. Hidden anemia doesn't happen overnight. It's the result of small, repeated factors throughout daily life, often unnoticed. Low iron diet. Eating very little red meat. Plant-based diets without proper supplementation pose. Restrictive dieting out of fear of weight gain. Over time, all of these slowly drain your ferritin levels. 2. Heavy or prolonged periods. Many women in their 40 seconds, 50 seconds, experience perimenopausal hormone shifts, fibroids or polyps. Monthly blood loss, rapid depletion of stored iron. 3. Absorption issues. Gastritis, intestinal inflammation. H. Pylori infection. Or long-term use of acid-reducing medication. All reduce your ability to absorb iron from food. 4. Low vitamin C intake. Vitamin C helps absorb non-heme iron from plant foods. Eating vegetables without vitamin C, iron passes through without being absorbed. 5. Too much tea, coffee or milk. Tannins in tea. Polyphenols in coffee. Calcium and casein in milk. All of these block iron absorption if consumed near a meal. 6. Chronic stress. Long-term high cortisol suppresses bone marrow reducing red blood cell production. The more stressed you are, the more anemic you become, and the more hair you lose. Conclusion of part three. Hidden anemia is one of the most common causes of hair loss in women over 40, yet one of the least diagnosed, because routine blood tests are not enough to detect it. When ferritin drops and oxygen delivery declines, your follicles simply cannot produce hair, and shedding begins handfuls at a time slowly draining your confidence. But here's the good news. Hidden anemia is completely reversible. Once you understand the mechanism and replenish your body the right way, five ways to restore hair loss caused by low iron. One, get the right tests and read them correctly. Don't rely on hemoglobin alone. Make sure your doctor also checks ferritin, serum iron, TIBC, and transferrin saturation. Here's what matters for healthy hair. Ideal ferritin for hair, 7100 NG, ML. Below 40, hair becomes weak and sheds easily. Below 20, follicles slip into a dormant state. Tip, do your blood test in the morning and fast for eight hours for the most accurate results. Two, improve iron absorption through your meals. Heme iron, easier to absorb. Lean beef chicken liver, tuna, eggs, non-heme iron, plant-based, lentils, spinach, pumpkin seeds, quinoa, pairing iron with vitamin C, orange, kiwi, bell peppers, boosts absorption up to three times. Avoid consuming iron with tea, coffee, milk or calcium. They lock iron and block absorption. 3. Supplement iron safely only if needed. The three most common forms of iron. Ferrous sulfate, inexpensive, absorbs quickly, but often causes constipation. Ferrous bisglycinate, better absorption, gentler on the stomach, very popular in the US. Amion polypeptide, more expensive, but highly effective for postmenopausal women. Suggested daily dose, 
1827 milligrams of elemental iron, depending on your labs. Important. Never take iron without checking ferritin first. Too much iron can damage the liver and oxidize hair follicle cells. 4. Add supporting nutrients for stronger hair, vitamin B12 and folate. Build healthy red blood cells, zinc and vitamin D3. Improve iron absorption and support follicle health. Omega-3 reduces inflammation and boosts scalp blood flow. Collagen. Peptides. 10G. Day. Strengthens the scalp and hair structure. 5. Track your progress. Hair needs time to recover. After 8 weeks, ferritin begins to rise. After 3 months, shedding noticeably decreases. After 6 months, new hair growth starts. Remember, hair reacts slower than blood. Even when ferritin reaches the ideal 7100 range, your hair still needs two, three full hair cycles, six to nine months, to fully rebalance and regrow. Don't lose hope just because the new hair hasn't appeared yet. Deep inside, your body is quietly rebuilding its energy. Your hair isn't getting weaker because you're getting older. It's getting weaker because your body is trying to protect you sending energy and nutrients to the organs that keep you alive. When you understand that, the fear fades. You stop feeling confused, and you start learning how to nourish your hair from the inside, with better nutrition, with patience, and with a little more kindness toward yourself. Dozens of women I've treated have brought their hair back, not because of a miracle, but because they finally started eating enough, sleeping enough, and rechecking the numbers they once believed were normal. Ferritin may look like a small number, but it decides the life force of your entire hair. If this video helped you understand the hidden link between low iron and hair loss after 40, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss new videos on nutrition, hormones, and midlife health. And I want to hear from you. Have you ever checked your ferritin or iron levels? Have you experienced hair loss even when your test results looked normal? Share your story in the comments below, because your experience might be exactly what someone else needs to reclaim their hair and their confidence. I'm Dr. William Carter, and I truly believe when you give your body enough iron, the blood begins to flow and your hair comes back to life. Thank you for watching. Take good care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next video coming very soon.